597, St. Augustine arrived in England to convert the Anglo-Saxons to Christianity. Virtually every modern description of this mission mentions Queen Bertha of Kent. She has gone down in legend as the Christian queen who influenced her pagan husband, King Adalbert, in Augustine's favor. But who was Bertha? What do we actually know about her? And how much influence did she really have? Let us learn today. Bertha was a Frankish princess with quite a royal pedigree. She was the daughter of Shari Bear I, the Merovingian King of Paris, and his first wife, Ingoberga. Her father, the king, married three other mistresses, and Bertha was brought up in a dysfunctional family situation. She is often shown as a semi-saintly Christian, assisting in the civilization of her husband's pagan country. But her own Christian family did not live up to the ideal. As with her birth, it is not known exactly when her marriage to Athelbert took place. It is recorded that a condition of her marriage was that she should be allowed to maintain inviolate the practice of the Christian faith and of her religion. Bertha brought a Christian bishop named Leodhurt with her to Kent as her confessor. They used the church of St. Martin in Canterbury, which had existed since Roman times. This church was later taken over by St. Augustine and his companions as their base of operations. In 597, under the Queen's protection, the Pope sent 40 monks, including St. Augustine, to preach the gospel. Adalbert, with reservations, agreed to meet Augustine and his companions a few days later in the open air on the Isle of Tennant, where they had landed. Adalbert saw their sincerity and grew fond of their faith. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200 plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with, or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you and God bless you. King Athelbert gave Augustine freedom to preach and reside in Canterbury, and he himself converted to Christianity. The Pope does give Bertha some credit for Augustine's welcome in Britain. He describes what great succour and what charity you have bestowed upon Augustine. He compares her to Helena, the Christian mother of Constantine, who became the first Christian emperor of Rome. The Pope's letter also gives us a tiny glimpse into Bertha's life. He implies that she can read, describing her as instructed in letters, and that she has an international reputation. Your good deeds are known not only among the Romans, but also through various places. The date of Bertha's death is almost as uncertain as her birth. She was definitely alive in 601 when Pope Gregory wrote to her, and tradition places her at the consecration of St. Augustine's Abbey in 604. She must have died sometime before Adalbert's death in 616. Ultimately, Augustine's mission of conversion was successful, and England became a Christian country. 
However, this would take many decades, and at the time of her death, even the conversion of Bertha's own family was not complete. Bertha and Adalbert were one of the first Christian Anglo-Saxon monarchs of England. Christian Queen Bertha's willingness to leave her home in France on a not-so-easy nor pleasant journey by land and sea to marry the pagan Adalbert of Kent, whom she had never met nor laid eyes on, was a defining moment that brought Christianity once again to England. Surely it is our aspiration that, like Queen Bertha, we too are leaving a great spiritual legacy to our descendants to live into as they carry on the faith throughout the generations. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos.